FunnelKit Automations is a powerful CRM that lives inside of your WordPress website and gives you all the tools and features that you need to manage your contacts efficiently. Let me show you around the interface and highlight key features that you'll use for contact management. To start, under FunnelKit Automations, click on Contacts. When starting out, you'll see no contacts inside here, and more than likely, you want to import your contacts from an existing solution that you're using. To do so, you'll click on Import, then you can upload your contacts using a CSV file, you can import your WordPress users, and you can import your WooCommerce customers and all their order data. We have a separate video that covers importing and exporting in its entirety, so definitely check out that video. Once you've imported your contacts, to find a particular contact, use the search field. I'll write my first name, and this gives me a list of all the contacts that have Grant in the name field or contain Grant in their email address. At any time, you can sort your contacts by clicking the sort icon, selecting your sort order, selecting the column that you would like to sort by, and clicking update. I've just sorted these contacts here by total revenue in descending order. To show a group of contacts that have something in common, you can use filters. Click the drop down and then select advanced filters. Clicking the plus sign shows you all the different ways that you can filter your contacts. I'll select WooCommerce and then last order days. I'll keep this at before, select 60 days and click apply filter. Now I can see that I have nine contacts in my website who have made a purchase from my store but have not bought within the last 60 days. To further filter your contacts, you can apply additional filters. I'll click the plus sign and then select WooCommerce and then orders count is more than one and apply filter. Now I see a list of all the repeat purchases in my website that are coming back and purchasing more than one time, but have not done that in the last 60 days. This is a good group of people to reach out to and engage with and try and get them back on your website and purchasing again. When you create filters that you feel like you'll want to apply in the future, instead of going and manually doing this each time, you can click save as audience, give your audience a name, write a description that describes the audience and click add. Now in the future, when you're under contacts and you want to apply those filters, you can simply click apply audiences, find that audience, click apply, and now those filters are there for you without having to do it again. On the left hand side under audiences is where you can see the name of all your audiences and the description for each. Audiences in FunnelKit automations are extremely powerful. We have a whole separate video that goes in depth in how to use them, so definitely look out for that video. Going back to all contacts, you have the ability to customize the columns that show here to best suit your needs. On the right hand side, click this icon, and then you can drag your columns into the order appropriate for you. You can click the trash icon to completely delete a column. Clicking add new columns shows you all the different columns that you can add and they're categorized by type. So for contact details, there's these ones, geography, all your custom fields, WooCommerce, segments, and then engagement. You can uncheck the ones that you don't want to have and then go ahead and check the ones you do, click save, and then scroll across to see them. To delete a contact, you can select the box here and then click delete. And you also have the ability to select multiple contacts and then delete them. Back on all contacts, I'll search for my contact and then click in to see my profile. You'll notice that a contact's details is laid out in a very clean and easy to understand way. The general fields give you all the details about your contact and their personal details, their email address, their name, phone number, time zone, their address. This here is a custom field that I've created. You can see the tags applied to a contact, what mailing lists they're in, as well as what link triggers they've clicked. Under the general field group, I have two other ones. I have segmentation and I have lead magnets. And in each of these field groups, I have custom fields. On the right hand side, you get a summary of how many orders they've placed, how much they've spent in your store, when their last order date was, how much they're spending on average in each order, and what that is compared to the average person in your store. 
Then you get all the engagement details about the contact. You can see when the contact was last updated, when they last logged into your website, the date of the last email that you sent them in one of your broadcasts or your automations, the date they last opened one of those emails, and when they last clicked one of those emails. You also get funnel analytics, so how many opt-ins they've completed, how much they've spent through how many orders, how many order bumps they've said yes to and how much they spent doing so, and also how many one-click upsells they've accepted and what that total value was of those upsells. If you're using WooCommerce subscriptions, you also get those details there too. That's the profile tab. Moving to the purchases tab, you're able to see every single product that this contact has bought from your store and from what categories. Below that, you get a list of all the different orders that they've placed in your store, including what their address was, and then also what they bought, what step of the funnel they bought from, how much that was worth, and the order total. And they're all listed here for easy access. You can click here to go directly to that order screen inside of WooCommerce to get further information. If you're using subscriptions, you can click here and see those details too. Under automations, you see an overview of all the automations that a contact has been through in your store, as well as the events that they've done in that automation. You can also manually add them to an automation by clicking over to here, typing in the name of that automation, selecting it, and then clicking add. Under emails, you get a very easy to digest table that shows you what email that was sent, what date it was sent on, and then also whether they opened that email and whether they clicked a link in that email. Clicking send email, you have the ability to write directly to this user from their profile. Just type your message and click send. Under funnels and sales funnels, you can see every funnel that they've been through in your website, how much they spent on your checkout page, an order bump and upsells within each funnel, and the overall revenue that this contact did in that funnel. Heading to opt-in, the same logic applies. You can see from which funnel they opted in to your mailing list on, and then also what details they entered, including their first name, email, and any other fields that were there in your opt-in form. Under notes, click add note, specify the type of note that you're leaving, give it a title, write your note, you have the option to send this note to your customer. In this case, I'm just gonna click add. And now that note is there for you or your team to learn more about a contact when they open up a contact's profile. On the top right are your quick actions where you can send a message or add this contact to an automation or delete them. If you're an existing Funnel Kit user and you have some questions, then definitely reach out to our support team. If you're not already experiencing the powerful features in Funnel Kit automations, then check our pricing plans or talk to our pre-sales team. We're ready and happy to help.